automatically adding annotation scales. We've learned how to add and remove annotation scales manually um, by using the the object scale command. However, we can have AutoCAD automatically do it. And right now, if I take a look at some of these, uh, I can go in here and say, well, you know, my annotative scale is currently at one to two, and I have a one to one. And that's what all these are actually at the moment. Now, if I come down to my annotative scale over here, um, you can see there's a button right here that is automatically add scales to annotative objects when the annotation scale changes. So if I turn this on, and now it's on, the little lightning bolt is on. So this is on. That means when I go and change this to a scale that I don't currently have, it'll automatically populate it with those particular scales. So I'm going to go up and say, you know what, I want 1 to 8. We haven't used that one yet. And so I'll say 1 to 8. And now it automatically populated 1 to 8 in each one of those uh, annotative objects. If I pick on one and I right click and I go to properties and uh, I come down here and there's my annotative scales 1 to 8. So right now it's at 1 to 8. And you can see when I go in here, I have 1 to 1, 1 to 2, and 1 to 8. It's all automatically set up. So when I come back in here, I can go back to my 1 to 1 now and go back into my uh, layout tab, select on my, uh, and I can go back to 1 to 1. And I'm all set up at 1 to 1. I can also be set up at 1 to 8. And so it automatically does it for us. That's a huge time savings advantage. But you have to use some caution. It's so transparent that you can add scales unintentionally. If you go in, in the model space and accidentally pick the wrong scale, it'll automatically put them in there for you. Which isn't the end of the world because you can always take them out. But this is a huge time saver and so we can add automatically add annotative scales by coming down here and making sure this is turned on this is our anno auto scale system variable so whenever that's on that'll automatically populate our annotative scales in the annotative objects in our drawing for that particular scale that you that you set to here in your annotative scale